And it is a sad fact that every night homeless veterans can be found on America's streets. But the city of Dayton took on a challenge to change that. City leaders set out to end, end veteran homelessness. After three months of digging, two news investigates. Bearshell Edmay has learned whether they accomplished that goal. For years in the Gem City, on train tracks, inside boxcars, and under overpasses, have been homeless heroes. And now we got this huge drill sergeant screaming at us and yelling at us, <laughs> you know, and telling us what to do. And then one day it was over. Army Specialist Robert White went from serving in Ramstein, West Germany, to being a homeless alcoholic on Skid Row in California. He ended up on a bed at the St. Vincent de Paul shelter when his mom was sick. I never knew what homeless was. I didn't know people were hungry because I was a cook. He tells me his new skills did not meet the job market. I never felt like I fit back in. Last fall, Mayor Nan Whaley took on First Lady Michelle Obama's challenge to help those like Robert to end veteran homelessness by December 2015. I went to City Hall to ask if the challenge is met. Is veteran homelessness not a problem or not existent in the city of Dayton? So yes, today there are no veterans on uh, the streets of Dayton, zero. The mayor tells me the city's completed three out of four steps, ending chronic veteran homelessness, increasing permanent housing, and focusing on housing first, then rehabilitation. The fourth step, providing veterans access to permanent housing within 90 days. City's average, 107. Having a veteran who has served our country and fought to protect the rights that we so much enjoy, to be, have them on the street is just unacceptable to be happening in the city of Dayton. We went to find out for ourselves if there really aren't veterans on our streets. Overnight, we walked the city with Officer Jerry Dix and the county's Housing and Homeless Solutions Coordinator, Kathleen Shanahan. We find homeless camps. You said you've been living. I've been, off, I've been homeless off and on for 15 years. Then homes nestled in woods. Come back out here where I feel free, you know, where I ain't got to feel like I'm being pressured all the time. This is Hillbilly's kitchen, his bedroom, his closet. In seven years, the mechanic has not had a permanent home. Is it that so you can't afford no. for a home? No, I only make about 200 a week. It's hard to live off 200, you know, but it's a job. Then there's 25-year-old Brandon, who shows me his survival skills. And then I tie it to tree branches, then a tree, like this. Okay. He's been homeless since his dad kicked him out. And whether you want it primarily from an economic development or neighborhood development or a moral standpoint, it doesn't matter because we all want to get to the same end. No one we meet is a homeless veteran. Robert tells me that does not mean heroes aren't still suffering. I don't think they know civilian-wise what a military life is. And then they leave that military life and they come back to this society. When his mom died, again, Robert was back to square one, like these men. Homelessness, even if well cared for and well managed, is a crisis. If St. Vincent wasn't here, um, it'd be a real tragedy. St. Vincent is often the starting point for the city to house the homeless, including veterans. In Robert's case, the system worked. <laughs> for five years, Robert has come home from his job at Amcor and put his key into this door. And he's sober. What? clicked for you that you decided to change? I think they were on that one because I heard the message say that someone would die and never hear the message of recovery. That stuck and that hurt. I know a lot of guys out there that never made it. Robert tells me his greatest struggle now is his biggest joy. <laughs> Actually, be excited about paying bills is kind of hard to say. <laughs> but, uh, Everything worked out fine. Everything worked out great. And I feel like if I can do it, then anybody can do it. And we spent countless hours with so many advocates who allow our veterans and our citizens to find their next home. And 2 News wants to make sure you get to meet them and learn more about how you can help. Right now on WD10.com, you can find my exclusive one-on-ones with these change agents. Beershaw Admay, 2 News, working for you.